This locomotive is the AC 4400 CW built by General Electric Transportation of Erie, Pennsylvania. This is the workhorse of the sand patch grade, able to generate a staggering 4,400 horsepower from its motor. First off, walk over to the locomotive as indicated. Open the cab door and proceed inside. To take control, you'll want the engineer's seat. Head over and sit down. Let's get started by letting those around us know this locomotive is operational. Begin by turning the forward headlights control to bright. There are three key controls to operating this locomotive. The reverser, brakes, and the combined power handle. The reverser determines direction of travel. Put this into forward. The right hand levers are the brakes. There are separate controls for the entire train and for just the locomotive. Pull the independent brake lever all the way towards you. We're about to move. So make two blasts of the horn to alert anyone around. Remember, safety first. Now add some power, but not too much. Too much power too soon can damage both the locomotive and the cars. Always start off nice and slowly. Pull the throttle lever towards you by one notch. You're moving. Great work. Push the throttle lever away from you to the middle center off or idle position. That concludes the basic engineer training on this locomotive. So let's bring it to a stop. Move the independent brake forward a short distance. As with applying power, too much brake pressure applied too quickly can be detrimental to the train and its cargo. Co-loading is a common occurrence on Sandpatch Grade, so we better take a look at how to do it. To engage the loading process, the train must be moving at a constant rate and not exceeding the speed limit. 
In order to move the train very slowly, this locomotive is fitted with speed control. This is located on the integrated function display. We're now ready to move under the coal loader ahead, so get the train moving. As we have set the slow speed control, it does not matter what throttle position is used, the locomotive will only travel at the indicated speed. When the train is within range, the loader will activate and a notification will appear. The process of loading the cars is completely automated. As each car passes under the chute, the loader will dispense coal until it is full. This will continue until all the cars are loaded. With the train under semi-automatic control, you can watch the loading process from an external camera.
to bring the train to a halt, return the throttle handle to idle, and on the integrated function display, press slow speed control off. Now bring the train to a stop. 